Alright uh, guys, welcome back to Retro Board Gaming, and today we're playing Vampire Survivors again. So this is just a free run, but I'm just going to play just for kicks. We're on the second level, and we're playing with a different character this time. And you know the actual drill with this game. Idle shooter, and you run around and just try to survive for as long as possible. Well, for 30 minutes anyway. We're gonna go probably with lightning ring this time. Just try something a bit different. And shall we go? I've never tried to build the laurel before, so it's a shield when active. Should I go with poor offense in this case? Let's go with a knife. Let's head down the library this way. So if you guys are new to the channel, welcome. Uh, good evening, good morning, good night, wherever you're around the world. Hope you're having a lovely, lovely day. Health, area attacks, or faster. Alright, let's go augment level of attacks. So now I should be running uh, back and collecting. Which I probably will do in a second to head down this way. I kind of wasted that power there. That's alright. Let's run out and increase the amount of weapons that we got. So this map is a bit more restrictive because it's one long corridor. So it makes evading a lot more trickier. It's a bit simpler than the other map. If you want to play something fun and you don't have to use your brain too much, this is definitely the game. You can play it pretty much on anything. I've been playing it on my mobile phone. I hear there's a Switch version with four player co op, which I'm very excited about. So I, I, I might buy that game on Switch when it comes out. Win a game. A lot of games that I have not played. This game just reminds me of, of a simpler time. The games were simple. Whenever I've grown up, you can see head to the arcade. After school, or your buddies would go there, you'll waste all your coins, or, or all your pocket money, really. Who trace I've got? Should we go with one or an axe? Let's go with the axe. It'd be a bit different from the last playthrough. Last time. 
maybe I'll make it to 30 minutes, maybe not. But we shall see. Here's my base garlic. When I first played this game, I thought the garlic was really lame. I was like, oh, he, until you just start trying it and you level it up, it becomes a very amazing offensive um, ability. Very small axes. With the axes and the crosses, it reminds me of um, the old Castlevania games, which I played extensively during my childhood. Good old Sympathy of the Night, Castlevania 4 or 3. I played a lot of Castlevania, a lot of Metroid. This simple artwork just reminds me of that era. And as I say now, retro is cool now. Let's get the truck to wall so I don't waste time running around trying to collect wall. Should I go with armor? I want to go all offensive. See how long it lasts. Holy Bible, and if I do get it, I'll show you. Very just similar to its function in Castlevania. What it does is just, it just circles around you, creates a little defensive and wall around you for a short period of time. Very good in the um, late stages of the game. Okay, wanna grab luck. We, we're gonna need that to get to our final form of our cross. Okay. Is that my first loot box of, of this session? I'm gonna need this because because I don't have background healing. It's gonna be my way to stay alive. Get back and grab all the crystals that they dropped. Alright. Let's go with more lightning. It's hitting a lot harder now. Alright, just six minutes guys, six minutes. One fifth of the way there. It's midi track. Let's get you into the mood. And I might grab that because that involves my knife as well. So I think I've got all the upgrades that I can. Yeah, so those fly marionettes, you want to avoid them because they explode. I do a bit of splash damage. Chicken. Simple games like this. Just back to the earlier time. Things were much simpler. Games like this, you don't have to. You don't even have to think. It's all about instinct. Sometimes when you come home from a long day at work, last thing you want to do is uh, 
Get away from me. Yeah, the last thing you want to do is... Stretch out your little mind. <laughs> uh, getting away from that fine marinette. or track the orb. Let's see if we a ray tracer. Yeah, so this game, in terms of your abilities, you pretty much tailor it to how you want to play. If you want to go all defensive, you want to go offensive, you want to do a bit of both. And you can alter how you play depending on the uh, starting character that you choose. Oh, there's a loot box there. Go back and click that. I upgraded my duplicator just now. Actually, it's my lighting ring, so I want to get it down. That's a welcome. Simple, just running back and forth. I don't have a my time lancet, so late game is just going to be interesting. See if I survive or not. Sit across. Level 8 across, I think I'm one short from maxing it out. Now let's go with garlic. Since we can't freeze enemies, I'm gonna need a way to hold off these enemies later during the game. Do more lightning ring. So luck. Hopefully we get a bit more pickups. Alright, avoid the marionettes. Get away from me, get away from me. Okay, you can do axe or knife, attract the ore. Let's do the axe. Get it. Get more higher. Yeah, so you try to aim for at least one or two items to be maxed out by the end. Alright, that's... Just freezes your enemies for a short period of time. how this character looks like he is Dracula himself. <laughs>
chase again. Use my lightning. Oh, the marionettes are getting closer. So I haven't been too lucky with the loot boxes this time. Okay, this is the final form of the Evolve um, Cross. So it shoots these flying swords around. Uh, use my lightning as well. Alright, up to 11 minutes. We are further there, we are further away there guys. Run, 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 run. Alright, I'll run down this way and then we'll go back and we'll collect. That lightning is almost maxed out. that way as well. I'm going to freeze our enemies. Let's as many of these as I can. Grab a loot box. Yep. Not very lucky this time again. That's the duplicator I'm assuming. I have lighting, okay, so we actually maxed out on the lighting as well. And let's grab some more health recovery. Let's see how my lighting is like just shooting everywhere now. It sounds like a shotgun, but not a shotgun, like, like a laser gun. Garlic. That way I can not let them touch me. Still a knife, I've done a knife in a while. Should be able to max out. Like one more of my powers before it ends. Alright, 12 minutes. So this builds a bit more direct attacks. It's not like the holy water build that I had last time. a bit more on my toes playing this field. Uh, grab everything. Oh, that's an elite. Grab the elite box. Once again, another singular upgrade. Yeah. But bad luck this time. Bad, bad luck. Okay. My axe is up to level 6 now. I need to get to level 9 for the ultimate upgrade. And you're normally just weaving in and out as you try to collect as much as you can. In, see how it's getting a lot, lot more crazy, and because it's so much tighter in this map, 
there's not a lot of places that you can run to. Unlucky again. <laughs> so we've been nice up to level 8, so we're one short for maxing that out. We see an elite here. Garlic almost to max that as well. So we're going to try to avoid her. Of damage if that you better touch you. It's garlic. First, triple slot machine pokey loot box. Which means we're almost to the end game, so we're more than halfway now. It's a soul eater, so steals heart, power increases while recovering HP. And we increase the area attack, and the last one should be the rune tracer, which we're now up to level 6. So we're always back to that as well. No, it's about to make it to 30 minutes. Just here. Just here again. Oh, go back and collect the. Come on, come on. Triple? No, I need a single. There we go. Oops. Max out a knife. So we got almost a purely offensive build now. The question is, how long can that last? Right, let's get retrace our game. Good luck. Almost maxed out. Oh, oh. Marinettes everywhere. Oh, these things are horrible. Because they do a lot of splash damage. If they do touch you. Let's do 10% base area. Why not? Three marionettes there. If those three hit you at once, you're pretty much dead. Let's see if 
Nice speed. Which is also pack a punch as well. So you want to avoid those as possible. Just wait for your booming tracer rounds. The health recovery is getting late in the game. We're about 18 minutes in. We're going to have 12 minutes to go. game at the arcades when I was growing up. <laughs> I would have lost all my money. We're gonna gain. I think Street Fighter. Used to play a lot of Street Fighter in the arcades. A lot, lot, lot of House of the Dead. Daytona. What are the old school classics? And this is the evolved X, so it passes through enemies now. So it looks like a, a scythe. It just flies around. Yep, so cool offense now. Of the way there, guys. Let's go speed again. Another elite. Chicken or run back, grab all those 
crystals. You can do it, you can do it. Alright, loot box, loot box. Oh, marinette, marinette. Get away from me. Let's go check the orb. luck because so I think I've maxed out on most of my items that's why it's giving this four pickups regardless oh merit it merit it I think I'll pick up anything substantial since so I think I've maxed out the most things. Yeah, it's, it's just cash. Better than nothing, I guess. for cash and two I don't need to anymore. Alright, seven minutes. after level like 60 you don't get any reasonable upgrades anymore that's where your character maxes out but this is that's where um, choice of abilities upgrades become important i'm pretty sure that there's a lot of people out there that's probably min max the upgrading path and which weapons to choose but I say just go with the flow and just try out brand new builds as you go along. Yep, this is where it gets crazy. Roughly around the last five minutes and you start to get swarmed. Yeah, I'm not sure, sure how I'm going to do because I don't have my Lancet ability which slows down enemies. So this makes it a lot more difficult to see how I just got hit there. As long as I can avoid getting hit for about 10 seconds, I should be fine. About 6 minutes. And let's go for the chicken now. Just make sure that I survive. As soon as you hit level um, like 30 minutes, like you instantly die anyway. But you try to avoid getting hit with the elites to you know, get like a tank. So see how that giant witch there on the right hand side? You want to avoid her and hope that your abilities keep her away. Oh, it's another 5 minutes. Make some room so I can run away from her. Let's get the cash this time. It's coming. 
fast, I think. I've got a bit of luck on me as well. Yep, oh. She almost got me. I wasn't paying attention to where she was. So this is where you get multiple elites coming at you. So it's last four minutes. Wipe them out, wipe them out. Just trying to create some space so I can run away from my enemies. Come on, come Carry in the last couple of minutes. Oh, come on, come on. More of the story. Eat more garlic, everyone. It's delicious. Bad for your breath, though. Alright, I'm getting super swamped. Oh god. Get away from me! <laughs> right. I'm trying. Alright, loot box. Probably the last loot box of this session. I probably didn't need to collect that, but why not? And even if you die, like, it's never like a failed game, because you collect coins to unlock further abilities. So, you never waste your good time playing Vampire Survivors. There's always something to unlock. You always get a little bit better every single time you play it. Trying to avoid that elite. So running away from her. Chicken. Get away from her. Make it some space now. Oh, oh no! <laughs> I got overconfident. I was two minutes short of finishing the, the match. Anyway guys, that's another session gone, um, thanks for watching, as always like, comment and subscribe if you wish, but if you do, thank you very much, um, I would love to grow this channel, I love making these videos, having a blast, click that notification bell if you want to follow on other things that I do play, I'm playing a, a lot at the moment, um, I'm still going through Mass Effect and Dead Space Remake. I'm just trying different things. There's all the games that I haven't played in just, yeah, in the time that I've been away. So anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. As always, you know, have a good evening, good night, or wherever you are in the world. Just enjoy life, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers. Bye. Hey guys, I actually thought I was dead, but apparently I could revive. Apparently it's this character's special ability. I'm still going. Maybe I can do it. Maybe I can do it. 90 seconds. I don't want the cash. Just give me 90 seconds, 90 seconds. My bad. My bad. Grab the chicken, grab the chicken. Oh, get the hectic care. Sixty seconds. Run away. Chicken space. Chicken. Chicken. More chicken. Oh, marinettes, get away from me. Kill the marinettes. 
Easy kid. Forty seconds. Easy kid. Forty seconds. Oh shit. Oh no. Easy kid. Alright, that's a wrap. <laughs> Almost, just 20 seconds short. And okay, right, I'm dead for sure now. Actually, can I revive again? Oh my god, I'm still going! 20 seconds! You can do it, boy! You can do it, you can do it! You just need to believe. 7 seconds. 8. Nine. The gift keeps on giving. Oh yes. <laughs> oh. This is why this game rocks. All right, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.